Hi, this is Mingyao from Ozen Engineering and in this video I'll show you how to install your ANSYS software and connect it to your existing ANSYS license server. If you're trying, out, trying to set up your license server, please go to the previous video I created on the subject. So let's say you have downloaded the correct software from ANSYS. Um, you download the software from support.ansys.com. Right. Under download current releases, we have a wide range of tools. I'm going to focus on a few of the main ones, the structures and the fluids, as well as electronics. So downloading the structures and fluid package, running through the installation process, you'll be prompted to, to um, install the license server. So let's see if I can find an example here. Uh, here are all the different uh, tools I have. And if I open up this uh, ISO of ANSYS here and uh, install it, let's go find it again here. I should use this one. This should have the setup. So you find the setup, you run the setup, and you go through the process. At the end, at some point near the end, you should you should be required to put in your license server information. Uh, in, in my case, my license server is my machine here, so oh, this is still running. Okay, so here's the installation. You want to go to install ANSYS product. So agree to the click wrap license agreement, associate to, to ANSYS, select all the products you want to install, and then go through the next. Oh, we have optical now. Um, next, uh, there's the option to configure interfaces. All of that, go through this, and at the end it should t ask me to put in a license server name. So all you need is a license server name. In my case, uh, it'll be this computer desktop AE76RDB. So when it comes to that point, I will go ahead and install it. Okay, in fact, when I installed it, it says, okay, everything is set up properly, and the licensing file on the that's installed is already uh, on the system, so we don't need to do anything. So it's going to go through this process of installing the software. I'm going to cancel out of this. So if you go through the, the an installation process with the license server already set up, uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't need to do anything. They should prompt you during the process. But if your license server wasn't set up or you put in localhost and you want to switch to a different license server, uh, you want to find this ANSYS client license settings app. And in fact, you need to you need to run this as an administrator. So let me try that again. It's got the ANSYS client licensing and we want to run as an administrator. Okay. So this pulls, it, pulls this up. All you need to do is put the server name into the system. Hit test to make sure that uh, you get a check mark. You can click on FlexNet Publish Licenses and it shows you all the licenses you have. And that's all you need to do to connect your computer to the ANSYS license server. This is true for mechanical and CFD. If you're running Electronics Enterprise, you don't have this ANSYS licensing client. It is not installed by default. In which case, you need to go to the, the ANSYS installation 
directory uh, and it says em shared files licensing and you need to edit this lmd.ini file and you just put in the server with the port that's that's used to communicate with the license server as well as the server name and you're ready to go once again so a couple of really easy ways to connect your ANSYS installation CFD mechanical electromagnetics to the license server that you have installed already hopefully this was a really quick five minute overview of how to connect your license your software to your license server uh, if you have any questions please contact your designated ANSYS support uh, organization thank you very, very much for watching this video I hope you have a great day if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you have a good day